were in you know Lakeview right at Western and Addison which was the former site of Riverview Park which opened in 1904 and kind of unceremoniously closed in I believe the summer of 1967. This amusement park was amazing for its time. Uh, I mean, the stories I grew up on from my parents visiting it when they were young, my grandparents had all sorts of different stories about it. There were different amusement parks happening in the city at the time, like Kitty Land up north, but this, is, uh, this was right in the city and this was just the big show. Flashback to um, the memories back in the 60s. Riverview was a big deal. For a kid that was like, uh, what, nine years old, 10 years old? I actually miss it, you know what I mean? You could. You could feel the being a child, you know, it's like going to an amusement park today, but it's not like that. It's That seemed a little bit more homier, smaller people, families and all that. And you know what? I'm going crazy. Duh, right there. It was right there? Yeah. Yeah. Right there, right, right there. Unbelievable the way this changed. In 1904, when it opened, they had um, a, a really changing uh, dynamic city at that point, right? I mean, Chicago had sort of put itself back on the map in 1893, said, fire be damned, we're here, and this is this is not only a world-class city, this is this is maybe the world-class city. With how, how big and significant Riverview Amusement Park was, this area, there is not a single thing that really recognizes or honors or or acknowledges the significance of what this park offered. So we're bringing the signage back. We're basing this mural on the original welcome signage to Riverview Amusement Park. But while they would always update on, on the left, they would show bargain days. We're gonna put a big close due to COVID-19 and close the amusement park for the summer. In COVID-19 times when we're all connected or trying to you know connect one another, we figured it was a unique opportunity to connect generations and come up with a unique graffiti street art install that harkens back to you know our grandparents' age and our parents' age. Why did it close? Well, you know, why does anything close, right? I mean, ultimately finances become the, the challenging issue here. If you've got ownership that can't make make a go of it, if the property becomes worth more than, than the amusement park can make, we're a very strange time. And a thing like Riverview is an awesome thing for us to remind ourselves of. A, a place like that where we come together, we uh, we are active and engaged, and you know, you're sort of in the, the joy of the crowd of strangers. It's a rare kind of experience. Riverview provided a lot of joy for a lot of people, and it, and it helped galvanize us that Chicago was a special place and that it was our home.